Hello! Ready to build your third intermediate app? If you're not ready, pause the video now and go take a nap. In this tutorial, we are going to create a choose your own adventure app. This tutorial will teach you how to navigate to different screens. Let's call this app Intermediate App 3. Intermediate App 3. Story time. Story time. Hmm. Story time. Good. Uh, the way this app works is that you will be asked a question on each screen. Based on how you answer, the app will take you to different screens or different storylines. Uh, this story will be about throwing milkshakes at dinosaurs. And if you don't like milkshakes or dinosaurs, you probably shouldn't come to my milkshake dinosaur party. But you probably like milkshakes and di- Anyway, uh, let's start by dragging a button onto the screen. Hello, button. And uh, let's move the button to the bottom of the screen. And we can do this by clicking on screen over here and going to align vertical and selecting bottom three. Great. Now our button is on the bottom. And uh, let's change the button's name. Let's call it uh, start button. Start button. And uh, we can also change the button's text. So click on button over here and uh, then scroll down to go to the text section. That's over here. And uh, let's just say this uh, should say start. Start. Great. Now we want to add some original artwork onto the screen. So let's select screen one over here and upload an image. Uploading images of dinosaurs. Uh, just keep in mind that all of these images can be found on the description of this YouTube video. So if you would like to make uh, a similar story about dinosaurs and milkshakes, uh, you can use our images. Great. Now let's add the next screen. Uh, to do this, click the Add a Screen button over here. And uh, let's just call this Screen 2, just like it says. Great. Uh, now this brings you to a new page for Screen 2. And if you want to go back to screen one, you just select this button over here. And uh, you can go back and forth, it says, uh, which is quite fun. Uh, well, it's, it's not that fun, it's just a, it's a cool feature. Uh, now, how do we make our app go to screen two? Uh, so let's go back to screen one and uh, go to the block section. When we click button one, we want it to take us to screen two. So let's type in when button one is clicked. Do. Oh, there we go. Now we have our block. Uh, next, let's go into the control section and select the block that says, open another screen, screen name. That's right over here. And uh, go ahead and thunk this into the opening. And uh, now we need to tell this block to open screen two. Uh, so on your computer, uh, type in text because we want a blank text block. Here we go. And uh, thunk that into the opening over here. And uh, let's just write in screen two, exactly, exactly the name of the other screen. And an important reminder, uh, you need to write in the exact name of the screen. If you change the casing of the word or you add a space, like if we did screen space two, it wouldn't work. So don't do that. Uh, terrific, uh, screen one is all set. Uh, let's go to screen two, up, up and away. Uh, so, so it's, it's not like we were really going away, we're just going to screen two. Um, so anyway, uh, for screen two, we are going to ask a question and uh, we want to give two choices for what to do. So first, let's go into layout over here and we're going to select a horizontal arrangement component and put it into the app. And uh, let's set the width to fill parent. So it's the width of the full screen over here. Uh, next, let's drag and drop two buttons into the horizontal arrangement component. One, two, there we go. Great. Uh, now they are right next to each other like best friends or two people who don't know each other but are standing next to each other. Uh, let's move them to the bottom of the screen uh, by selecting screen and then a line vertical and then bottom three. Very good. And uh, we need to change the text of these buttons. Again, we're going to ask the user a question. And uh, let's make the text on button one uh, say yes. So when we click button one, we're answering yes to the question. Uh, so we can change the text over here. So just change this to yes. 
And uh, let's also change the name of the button. Let's call this the yes button. Yes button, good. And uh, let's have the text of the other button over here. Let's have this say no. Uh, so let's update the text. And then we're going to change the name of this button and we're going to call it the no button. Great, uh, so that's all set. And now we need some artwork on this page. So let's go to screen over here and upload our next image. Ba -doo -doo -doo. Uploading images, what's it going to be? Uh, so this image shows that you are standing in front of a dinosaur and you have a milkshake. And it's asking you, do you want to throw your milkshake at dinosaur? Uh, this is a very important question. And it's pretty much the worst dilemma you'll ever face. Uh, so let's just, uh, let's figure this out. We're going to add two more screens by clicking add screen over here. And for screen three, uh, let's call this yes screen, just like that. Yes screen, great. And uh, let's add another screen, screen four. And uh, we're going to call this the no screen, no screen. Brilliant work. So if you click yes, you're going to go to the yes screen. And if you click no, you're going to go to the no screen. So let's just go back to screen two, uh, because we want to block out the functionality. And uh, here we are going to do the same thing as before. Uh, when the yes button is clicked, uh, let's see, yes button is clicked. We want to open another screen so we can go get this block, dunk it in. And uh, then we need the blank text block. So we type in text. And uh, we want this to go to the yes screen. So we type it in exactly as we did before. And uh, let's go ahead and copy this entire combination uh, because it would just take more time to build it again. So click copy and paste. And uh, let's just change the blocks a little bit. Uh, let's have it say when the no button is clicked. So when the, the no button is clicked, uh, go to the no screen and we can just change the text for no screen. Great. So depending on which button the user presses, you will go to a different screen. Great. Uh, next, we're going to go to screen three. That's the yes screen. So you can go up here and select yes screen. And we are going to add a button, a good old button, and uh, move it to the bottom. Uh, so click screen, align vertical, bottom three. There we go. And uh, let's make the background of the screen another image. And because this is the yes screen, it looks like you chose to throw a milkshake at the dinosaur. And that makes you a terrible person. Yes, you are a terrible person for throwing milkshakes at dinosaurs. Shouldn't do that. And uh, there we have it. You, uh, you threw a milkshake at the dinosaur. And uh, yeah, the dinosaur is sad. I hope you're happy. Um, yeah, so this is where the story took you. Uh, this is also where the story ends. We don't want to make this too long. So you can go and make your own stories. Uh, so we're just going to add a restart button. And let's change the name and the text to restart. Now it's time to block out the functionality for this screen. When the restart button is clicked, uh, let's see, we want it to open another screen. You know all this. And uh, then get a text block. And let's write screen one. Uh, so this takes us back to the beginning. And I want to show you another cool feature of Thunkable. Uh, if there are blocks or block combinations that you normally use and you want to save them so you don't have to keep rebuilding them, you can just put them in the backpack. Uh, so we're going to use this combination later. So let's just put it in the backpack over here. Very good. Great. Uh, let's go to screen four. That's the no screen. And this is basically the same thing. We're going to add a restart button and uh, move it to the bottom of the screen. And we're going to change the button's text to restart. And let's also upload an image. So if you are on this screen, it's because you decided not to throw a milkshake at a dinosaur, uh, which means you are a good person uh, because you shouldn't throw milkshakes at dinosaurs. And look at that. That's so sweet. Uh, you guys are now best friends. That's great. Good for you. Uh, now we can block this out, but we don't have to build all of the blocks again. Remember, we put something in the backpack. So now we just click on the backpack and look, 
there's the exact combination that we need. So go ahead and drop that into the blocks editor and uh, make sure that this is all set correctly. We don't need to change anything. Uh, so when this button is clicked, it will take you to screen one. Fantastic work. Uh, let's see this app in action. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. What an emotionally rich and complex story. And now you know how to create your own stories. So when you're done, make a video recording of your own story app. And you can send it to us on Twitter. Uh, and our Twitter handle is at Thunkable. Or you can send it to us on Facebook if you just type in Thunkable on Facebook. So how about that? Um, well, in the next tutorial, you won't be throwing milkshakes at dinosaurs. See you next time and... Thanks for thunking!